Hello my beautiful cherry pies and welcome back to another video and today we have a stressful one, eh? Uh, we have a perfume bottle. We have a perfume bottle of Arabic scents uh, that I bought or received last year and uh, even before and uh, I'm gonna compare the dupes. Usually they come in pairs and I'm gonna tell you which one you should get um, because there are so many dupes of the same fragrance and it's getting very stressful and confusing at least for me uh, not only when I purchase myself as a consumer but also when I review and I want to give you the best of the best uh, from what I have tried so far so let's go ahead and jump right in darlings and uh, this video has more of like staple dna of fragrances and uh, trust me this is just the first video like this on this channel we are gonna move on to like more special things um, but uh, we are gonna start with like staples like things that people usually want so like the linas mfks uh, initios all right so that's for today uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and start. Uh, let's start with the most boring one at this point um, for me and surely for you. So I just want to get it out of the way. Uh, we have the Linas, the Linas, the Linas. There are so many. <sighs> it's getting insane, guys. And I feel like I don't even know anymore if I should purchase the ones that are coming out. I, I don't know. Or just should I leave it as it is? It's ridiculous. But we have free the Lena dupes for today and uh, these ones uh, are actually like the most the Lena-esque of everything that I have uh, so we have Maison Alhambra de Laila we've got Elania from Emir Paris Corner and we also have Zimaya Fatima from Afnan uh, this is Fatima Extra that, that's it uh, so Let's start with the bottles, shall we? I must say, every single bottle that you're gonna see here in this comparison is actually truly, truly better than the OG because they're not flimsy. They are way more sturdy. The tassels on each of them are actually better quality with time comparing to the OG because the, they do not like shed and the OG sheds on me. I know it's old, I've had it for like four years, I think. So, you know, it's okay. However, I feel like from the get-go, these tassels are better, but also the bottles are way more sturdy. As I say always, those OG Delina bottles and all Parfums de Marty bottles are super flimsy and they always fall off my shelves. It's ridiculous. I don't know why they do such thing for such high price, but whatever. So we have Elania and we have Maison Alhambra. I'm gonna put them on the side and I'm gonna talk to you about Fatima first because this one is actually the most um, different to the OG Delina. And uh, even though the notes are very, very similar, this one is just different. This one is like more citrusy floral, it's still similar, don't get me wrong, but it is different, definitely. It's not like your 99,9% of a dupe. This is different, that's their own take on the DNA, which I do love uh, because, you know, at least we get something with a twist, right? So if you want something that's still in very much the Lina vibe, however, more citrusy, a little bit more floral, but not like rosy floral, more like Petalia floral, okay? and more powdery in the dry down, then I would try the Afnan version because it's really, really nice. And then we've got Maison Alhambra and Elania. Now, Emir Elania to me is pretty much uh, a 98% dupe and uh, Delilah, even though the note structure on Delilah is slightly different, like Emir version has like, all the notes are the same that they listed and here in the Lila we have something a bit different as I remember but for some reason I 
think I like the Lila better. I mean, it's really hard, guys. Really, really hard because they're both so nicely done and so nicely blended. You do not get alcohol here. However, I feel like the Lila gets into that nutmeggy, um, that depth of the Lina way quicker. So that's why I would choose the Lila over Elania, even though I like them both. Uh, and uh, more so I use uh, Elania for every day and I just keep the Lila as my precious one. It's ridiculous, I know, but I think that uh, the Lila is actually a better dupe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think the Lila wins here. So the most dupey dupe will be the Lila. On the second spot will be Elania. And then on number third spot we'll have the Fatima. Not saying that they are worse, something's better, something's worse. I'm just saying that the Lila is the most like the Lina. Okay, so you have like 100% dupe in the Lila. All right, now let's swiftly move on to this and that will be the Lina exclusive dupey dupes. And we've got Club de Nuit Imperial and then we have Arte Bellissimo Romantique from Orientica. And I absolutely adore Arte Bellissimo. You guys know this is like my baby. And Club de Nuit Imperial, I do not use that much. However, however, I must say that Club de Nuit, 100% dupe. 100% perfect dupe for the Lina exclusive. Okay? You get everything perfectly done here. Just like in the exclusive version. It's one to one one two one it's perfectly the same and performs like a monster just like the exclusive version uh, you know I when it comes to the OG I have nothing bad to say about the exclusive Delina because it's phenomenal in every single way but this one is as well so you're paying so much less money I do not really love the packaging and that may be the reason why I don't use it so much because it's very heavy and it usually sits at the back of my shelf. So it's always like very hard to like take it out. You know what I'm, you, you know where I'm coming from. That's probably why I don't use it so much, but this is like the best Delina exclusive dupe ever created. So this will be the winner. However, don't miss out on Orientica because even though it's a bit different to me, this is like a cross between exclusive Delina and the original Delina. So it's like fresher, less powdery, less um, less cloud-like. Yeah, definitely. This has like a little bit of that original Delina here as well, but the performance is impeccable, it's phenomenal. I would not sleep on it. Um, just because I'm rating this like lower, the only reason behind it is that um, it's not as close to the original. This one is like one to one. So if you want a one to one, get arm off. But if you want a gorgeous cross between the Lina exclusive and the Lina original, get Orientica. It's amazing. Amazing. Okay. I'm done with all those Delinas, guys. <laughs> I am really done with them. I don't want to show them anymore to you. Truly, I'm so done. I'm so done. Uh, I use them every day, one or the other of these perfumes because I love them. They're so easy to wear, but I'm, I'm done talking about them, truly. Okay, now let's move on to a DNA that's also very, very popular and that is Kirke from Tiziana Terenzi. Uh, also, something that's within that vibe is of course the infamous Erba Pura from Zerger that I absolutely despise. I hate that screechy mask that's in there, but I have two fragrances that are phenomenal. Phenomenal if you want to get uh, any of that kind of a scent. Skip on Zerzhov, skip on Tiziana, get these, okay? So the first one is a scent that actually kind of started my channel 
uh, I feel like I gained popularity because of the scent and that is uh, Jasmine with from Rosazi and I have two bottles it's so good it's super sexy it's very very fruity it's like passion fruit amber coconut tonka and it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it will always be my fave it's very like bubbly girly but super heavy at the same time so that's the first one and the second one that i definitely need to show you here is the newest shahaf uh, Ud Ahmar from swiss arabian this one is like erba pura dna down to perfection so much better than the original Erba Pura guys, so much better. This one I would say it's closer to Erba Pura but it doesn't have that screechy mask, it's so smooth. And uh, this one is maybe a little bit more similar to Kirke, however in general they're very much in the same realm. And uh, this, they're even, nothing is better than the other, they're both very strong, they're both performing amazingly none of them are screechy musky nothing like that they're super super smooth um this one i think it's even smoother and even stronger even though it would be very hard for me to say that something stronger than this razazi because it's super strong but this one i feel like stays put even longer because i had to give my clothes two washes before it it was gone it's very very much of a beast mode and it's great so yeah uh, I think it's a tie here it's very hard for me to say that one is better than the other maybe this one will be a better performer and closer to Erba Pura DNA uh, however Jasmine Wisp has coconut and that's what you know kind of gets me here so yeah we're even here all right so these two Amaze balls. I'm sorry, I cannot, I cannot finish this battle. They have to be on the same spot, okay? All right, next. Maison Francis, show we? All right, we've got two scents that are Oud Satin Wood dupes. First one is Maison Alhambra Baroque Satin Oud, and then we have Emperor best dark oud first of all i love bottles of both of them but i much prefer this one of course it's way more similar to mfk the 200 mil ones and uh, you know what i got this first i got alhambra first and when i smelt it when i wore it i felt like there will be nothing better in this world um, for a satin mood dupe like i love satin mood it's I think my favorite MFK to be honest and I thought there would be nothing better because it's so close however I must say this one is actually better this one is way stronger yeah this one is way stronger I do prefer the Amper version uh, they're both very good uh, you know if you cannot find Amper and you only see this one online then get this it's it's good enough trust me however Amper is better. Amper is better. Amper wins here because of its performance. Uh, this one from Alhambra still performs well. You get at least eight hours. However, I feel like it doesn't project as much as Amper. And I would say this one would be like 96% of the dupe, whereas Amper is like 99,9. Okay, here we have our 99,9 dupe is just perfection perfection i love this one absolutely love this so in this battle emperor best dark wood wins okay last mfk guys and we're done uh, with mfks then i have one initial battle and last one part from the marley um fortunately not the lena <laughs> so yeah uh, we've got um, the OG Baccarat dupes. Uh, the first one is from Armoff Club de Nuit Untold and the second one is from Orientica and that is Amber Rouge. Now 
stuff. I've had amber rouge for longer. And I must say, I was always super satisfied with this one, you guys know. Uh, this one I've had for almost a year now. So, you know, it's beautifully macerated, all that jazz. Now, with these, it's gonna be very hard to tell you which one to buy better because they're both exceptionally good. I'm just gonna tell you the differences and you're gonna see for yourself. So, Orientica. Orientica version is uh, first of all more expensive uh, however it doesn't need much of maceration you pretty much get what you are gonna get in the long run from the get-go and this one is also sweeter so I would say it's like 70% of the OG Baccarat Rouge with 30% of Baccarat Rouge Extrait um, it's just a bit more dense and sweeter okay so that would be Orientica and uh, Club de Nuit, I would say, um, note-wise, like DNA-wise, uh, is like 100% Baccarat Rouge. However, this does need to sit, especially this one. You see, with the Imperial, that is uh, the Lina Exclusive dupe, I didn't need much sitting and macerating. With this one, I definitely did, because at the very beginning, I did smell... Uh, quite a bit of gasoline like facet uh, you know almost a year has passed and I do not get it at all and I must say that at this point this is definitely mm, the most perfect dupe for Baccarat Rouge the original 540 not the extra and uh, you know for this reason I would say maybe go for this however you do have to remember to be patient uh, because I did get that gasoline like smell in the beginning for the first couple of months so it does need some sitting okay uh, also this one is cheaper and you get more product so for these reasons I would say go for the Hermoff do not sleep on Orientica because it's phenomenal I love it and I want to always have it in my collection um, however you know it's way price, way more pricey comparing to our muff. And also it's not like 100% dupe, okay? It's a cross, more of a cross. Uh, just like with this Orientica, this one is also a cross. So they're kind of taking the best of both worlds uh, when it comes to the original scent and its flanker and putting it together, I feel like. So this one is also a cross. Uh, so yeah, I, I would go for our muff if you want like 100% dupe for Baccarat Rouge. However, you need to let it sit. So yeah, that is it. Uh, then we have Initio. And for Initio, we are gonna compare um, the Atomic Rose dupes, and I have two. So the first one is from Maison Alhambra, and that is Infini Rose that I fell in love with. And then I got from my mom, uh, F.A. Paris, and this is a Rose Explosion. So this one comes in like a rose gold engraving. It's not gold gold, it's rose gold if you compare these two. But both bottles are absolutely beautiful. So again, um, this I thought nothing can be better than this for a atomic rose dupe because it's like perfect. It's perfect as an atomic rose dupe to the Maison Alhambra. However, then I got this. And at very first, I wasn't too sure if it's such a good performer, uh, you know, if it's that similar. But after I let it sit, I got it for Christmas. So it's been a proper month since, since it's been sitting. And I must say, I'm very sorry, Maison Alhambra. I love you so, so much. But this one is better. This one is better. Um... And you know what? It's even hard to say why. This one, uh, Infini Rose, is just a little bit more like um, airy. It's still a dense fragrance, don't get me wrong. It's still a dense fragrance, very long lasting, but this one is a little bit more like airy. And Rose Explosion from F.A. is just F.A. Paris, right? Yeah. Um, I don't even know this brand that much. This one, is thicker, denser, 
just straight from the get-go it's way more like atomic rose you get that very very high denseness of the oils here so it's phenomenal uh, here you get 80 ml and here you get how much I'm, I'm sure it's 100 I'm pretty sure it's 100 but they do not say it on the packaging which is weird but I'm sure it's 100 so yeah both of them amazing but I must unfortunately say that rose explosion actually wins this battle i'm still gonna use them both i love them both but this one is like your 99,9 all right this is your 99,9 this one i would say it's like 97 okay um it's it's just um there are some certain very nuanced facets that kind of differ it from atomic rose meaning that um, it gets to atomic roses dry down quicker um, Atomic roses also a bit more sour in the beginning and Here you have it all. Okay here. You have it all so it's a winner I'm sorry, but it's a winner and I have a last one pairing for today and that will be for Oriana and one fragrance I do not have with me anymore and that would be uh, Latafa's version of Oriana uh, and this is going to be very easy comparison because I am very much a hater of that Latafa creation I do not like it I did let it sit but I did not like it at all if you want a perfect Oriana dupe then I would highly suggest getting Maison Alhambra Reina this is beautiful this after you let it sit for a month or so this gets into that beautiful orange blossomy fluffy marshmallow that we all crave right and uh, also the price is way better it's just a better scent that latafa smells vintagey to me way too cloying way too powdery is just a no-no this one is great this one is just like oriana it's fluffy very girly feminine plush and precious and just gorgeous so uh, if you want an oriana dupe get reina instead of latafa and some gold all right guys this is it for today i really hope you enjoyed the video uh, more like this to come uh, i have some uh, ex nihilo juice but i did make a video about it so i felt like it's gonna be redundant uh, but there will be bdk jupes there will be another initio jupes like paragon and stuff so stay tuned for it uh, but this is it for today i really hope you enjoyed it and see you in my next one bye